What was your happiest day at Subway or your best day? So a few Sundays ago, I had a family that drove 50 minutes to come see me. And this was one of the first times I had fans that drove a far distance come into the store and it honestly shocked me. They brought such a positive energy into the store. And if I'm being honest, before they arrived, I was kind of in a funk. But then they came to the store and they were laughing with me. They were joking around and the kids seemed so happy. So by far, that's one of my best days at Subway. And I'll probably remember that day for the rest of my life. What do your parents think about your TikTok page? So in the beginning, my mom actually wasn't a fan of it because I was eating a lot more Subway. And that meant that I was messing up the supply and the spreadsheets of Subway a lot more. So she had to do a lot of extra work. But now they love it. There literally won't be a day that goes by without my parents going, are you going to go live on TikTok? Or are you making TikToks today? And I'm like, yes, mom and dad, I make TikToks every day. Don't worry. So yeah, they really love it now. And I love them for it. I mean, without them, I wouldn't even have the ability to be doing this. Who is the meanest person to you? So honestly, all my customers are pretty nice, but there's this guy that always comes in and I'm really bad at memorizing sandwich orders. And this guy always expects me to memorize his sandwich order ingredient for ingredient. So whenever I ask him what kind of sandwich he wants or what kind of cheese he wants, he rolls his eyes at me and always goes, you should probably know this by now, shouldn't you? I'm like, dude, I make hundreds of sandwiches a day. No shot on memorizing your order. What's your worst nightmare at Subway? So my worst nightmare is one of two things. One is being robbed. I mean, that would be terrifying. And the second one has actually happened to me once before. It's completely running out of bread. For a half hour to 45 minutes, we literally had no bread to serve to customers. And the customers were definitely annoyed, but at least we had flatbread and a couple of wraps left. Has anyone ever walked in and told you that they are the owner of your Subway? No, this has never happened to me before, but I had somebody walk in and tell me that they were from Subway Corporate. They started taking pictures around the place the entire time. They asked me to go to the back and I was like, wait a second, this is kind of sus. So I tell them that I have to call my boss and I go into the back quickly and he just tells me out of nowhere, oh wait, I don't have to do this. I'm going to go. Okay, thank you. I always wanted to know, but how did your parents end up buying a subway? So about 40 years ago, my parents immigrated together from Iran to this country. There was war going on in Iran, so they moved here, and my mom got a job at JCPenney, and my dad did construction. For about 10 to 15 years, they saved up enough money so that they could build a business together, and Subway just happened to be one of the cheapest franchises to buy into at the time, so they picked that. 22 years later, here we are straight up most awkward moment so this happens a lot of times i'll have a customer come in and ask me if i could follow them on instagram tiktok or whatever platform and before i say this i want it to be clear that i love all of my followers like you guys are literally what made me but it's really hard because i can't really follow anybody that i don't know because if somebody puts out content that's inappropriate and somebody else goes and sees that i'm following that person it becomes really tough on me and it's even more awkward when they just walk in and ask me that and then leave car reveal you know i got you guys but it's not gonna be what you expect you probably expect me to drive something pretty nice or something like luxurious you know but i'm a subway worker this is my 2012 nissan altima if i'm being completely honest this isn't even my car i share it with my brother so yeah there's not much to it i mean it's been in an accident before you know definitely not a maserati or a lamborghini but give me a year and i guarantee this thing's gonna become a chariot what is the longest someone has come just to see you? So yesterday I had these three very nice guys come in and they told me they drove all the way from Ohio to come to my subway. This was so mind blowing to me and guys, please don't do this. My subway is literally just the subway. But those three gentlemen's names are Geyer, Beck, and Michael. So shout out to you three. And these nice gentlemen left me a $20 tip. Honestly, such great energy and I hope it was worth the couple hours of driving. Have you ever said to a Karen, I am the manager? I had a woman walk into the store one day and she asked for a nice tuna sandwich. Every tuna sub comes with four scoops regularly, but this woman wasn't having it. She was trying to tell me that I was making the sandwich wrong and that a standard tuna comes with six scoops. I told her, listen, I'm the manager and I train literally every single employee that works at this store. That shut her up pretty quickly. Where do all the subs go from the videos? So once upon a time, not too long ago, I actually used to eat every single sandwich I'd make for a video. If we're being real, it was completely unhealthy and I probably gave like 10 or 15 pounds in that process but now these are all sandwiches that go straight to customers most of them are online orders or if it's a fan that comes in i'll record their sandwich to be on tiktok too I'm actually the owner moment. So about a month ago, I had a woman walk into Subway and start complaining to me about all the prices. She was talking to me about how everything is so expensive and how our business is going to go out of business if it keeps being this expensive. At the end, she tells me, you should really tell your boss or whoever owns this place to lower all the prices. And at that moment, I was like, ah, uh, that's my parents. And the look on her face just completely shifted. She basically just trash talked us in front of me for like five minutes straight.
Do a sub with only me and the boys got you with 1.2 million likes. All right, boys, let's see if you can pull this off. This is a very oddly specific request, but you guys have done it before, so let's see if it happens again. This sub is just a classic Italian BMT, just the meat like you've asked. And this is actually the sub that I recommend to every single person whose first time it is going to Subway. You can really never go wrong with an Italian BMT. Has anyone broken into your store at night? So there was this night that I had forgot to lock the door at Subway when I was leaving. And you know, the Subway's in a really safe town, but we still gotta have the door locked overnight just in case. So my brother actually had to drive all the way back to Subway for me to lock it. And while he was there, he was a little hungry, so he decided he was gonna make himself a nice little sandwich. All of a sudden, three cop cars just pull up to the Subway, and my brother had to go outside and explain to them what was going on. They literally thought my brother was about to rob the store. Has anyone ever tried to take another customer's food? So I had this one time where there was a girl that I was ringing up and I always used to keep my DoorDash orders right by the register. And in this particular DoorDash order, there were like three sandwiches. And whenever I'm busy, I just ring the person up and say, okay, you can go, especially if they have a credit card and they don't want the receipt. So I did this to this girl and she took the DoorDash order. So yeah, now we keep all the orders in the back just because of this reason. Let me get a uh, week two of trying your guys' subs. In case you missed it, guys, I was on Subway's page and I tried one of your guys' subs last week and it's time to do week two of trying your subs. So what I need from you guys is I need you to comment what your Subway sandwich build is and I'm gonna pick one of you lucky winners and display you on the Subway TikTok page. Stay tuned and make sure you're following both of us so you can see who gets picked. I know some of you have some yummy, yummy sandwiches. Malad, what language do you speak? I always wonder. Well, as you can tell right now, I speak English fluently. I also know Farsi because I'm Persian, so to my Persian family, salam, shama chetoni. And lastly, I do speak a little bit of Spanish. So for all of my Spanish family out there, chupapi muñeño. Hopefully that clears things up. Have you ever accidentally dropped your phone on a sandwich? So I used to have a much smaller phone than the one I have right now, and it didn't fit as tightly into my little strap-on thing as you would think. So there was this one day that I was making a sandwich, and I literally dropped the phone into my tuna batch. My phone was literally soaked in tuna, and I had to take that batch home with me. Thank God there were no customers in the store at that time. I think to this day, that phone still smells of tuna so much that I had to get a new one. What is the scariest thing that happened to you while at Subway? So back a few years ago, there was one night where I was closing up shop and everything was getting packed up and the door was even locked and all of a sudden, I'm just standing there and turn my head 180 degrees around and I see probably the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. And I thought to myself, I have to be a hero today. I have to get this spider out of the store. So I took my shoe off and I smashed that spider to splitherines. Has a fan ever gave you a gift? As a matter of fact, one of the first fans I ever met while working at Subway gave me a gift. He gave me a Lucario Pokemon card, which you can see on screen right now. And I keep this card in my phone case for good luck to this day. I cherish this gift more than you can even imagine, even if it's just a Pokemon card. And I know that fan somewhere out there watching this right now. Thank you again for the gift, buddy. I will cherish this forever. How do you pick your comments? And if you pick from the comments, can it be me, please? So I basically just pick whatever questions or comments are very interesting to me. So if you ask a really good question that kind of catches my eye, I'll most likely pick it. Or if you get a top comment with something that's pretty funny, like Glizzy Reveal, I'll probably end up picking it too. It's honestly completely random, but keep trying and asking your question. I'm sure one day I'll probably end up picking it. How long have you been working at Subway? Including today, it's been exactly five years, five months, and 17 days. I started working at Subway on my 16th birthday, which was September 30th, 2015. And honestly, the time flies. Most of you guys know this though, and honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I've basically been at Subway since I was like three years old. Here's a picture of me as a child in front of a Subway. So yeah, it's definitely been a journey, and we gotta think of something special to do for the six-year anniversary, guys. Can you do parents face reveal? I'll do you one even better. I'll do a parents sub reveal. This is my dad's Subway sandwich order that he's literally gotten every day for the past 11 years. There's so many ingredients on it that I can't even name them all. And he gave me such specific instructions to make this sandwich. I've shown it once before and I've said it. It looked gross to me at first, but then I tried it. And I gotta say, this was probably one of the best subs I've ever had. Nice sub, dad. For every single like that this video gets, I'm gonna be giving .0005 pennies to one lucky customer. That means if this video gets 50,000 likes, they're going to get $25. If it gets 100,000 likes, they're going to be getting $50. And if it gets a million likes, they're going to be getting $500. So this all depends on you guys. I wish I could give out more, but honestly, the creator fund doesn't give me that ability yet. But like this video and share it with anybody that you want. You have exactly one week. Let's see how much the next customer gets.
Well, I guess it's opposite day. One of my friends on this app, Dylan or DJ LeMay2, asked me if I could make ice cream at Subway. And as most of you know, we don't have ice cream at Subway. So I'm going to make it with tuna. Delicious, right? So I got our tuna ready and I got our veggies inside of the tuna. I chop, chop full, just like he would say. And the end result is this Subway tuna ice cream concoction. Honestly, something you'd see at the lunch table. Go check out Dylan. He's linked below. What would you be doing if you didn't work at Subway? So before this whole COVID pandemic hit, I applied for an internship at Facebook. And I know some of you guys might not like that. But I basically got through the second coding round. I was going to be a software engineer intern there. And during my interview rounds, we literally had a pandemic hit. So they let go of every single person that was interviewing and said, we can't bring on any interns right now. But in the end, it all worked out. I love this job much more immensely than I would have loved Facebook. And making TikToks for you guys, I wouldn't trade this for the world. What day do you work? So I have a lot of you guys that come to the store, but you don't get to see me because you don't know what my schedule is. So basically I work every single day except for Monday and Saturday. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what time I work, but just know that my hours are either from 10 until 2 or from 3 until 8. Hopefully I get to meet more of you guys. And if you came to the store and you didn't see me, I'm so sorry. I love meeting you guys. So maybe just try again. Have you ever farted in your store? Nah, I don't fart, but there was this time where I was helping this customer and in the middle of making his sandwich, all of a sudden I I just hear a squeak noise and it's followed up by a smell. Thank God I was wearing a mask this day. If this was pre-COVID, I probably would have had to run to the back for a second or make some excuse to go to the back. Only time that's happened though, hopefully it never happens again. What was the smallest thing someone complained about? So I understand when people are very picky about their sandwiches. If I'm being real, I'm pretty picky about my food too. But I once had a woman that when I was spraying the sauce on her sandwich, you know, I usually like to go in a zigzag pattern, but she was pretty upset because I didn't put the sauce in a straight line. In my mind, I was just kind of thinking, are you kidding me right now? But you know, I didn't say anything and just fixed the sandwich, wiped off the sauce and went in a straight line as I should. How do you pay your bills if you don't get paid? So as most of you may know, my parents don't pay me for working at Subway, and that's because I don't want to be paid. They offer me money whenever I need it, so line of defense one is I'll always ask them for money if I need it, but I also have my TikTok money as well. And lastly, I invest a lot of my money. So investing makes my money compound, and I have an emergency fund of Bitcoin that I can tap into basically at any time if I really need the funds.